And today I would like to talk about robustness. And I want to explain what is robustness. So what is it? Because quite often I mentioned that robustness testing is the most important part of trading. Well, not extra, not, not extra trading, but development of powerful algorithmic trading strategies. So what is it? What is robustness? And to answer the question, what is robustness, uh, we need to start with a little bit different um, framing. And the framing is we need to think about uh, probabilities and we need to think about predictability. And the truth is that uh, we cannot predict the future, period. We just can't. Uh, I mean, uh, last year we experienced negative values on futures contrast, contract of oil, right? The, the price dropped down to something like minus $38, if I remember, where was, or it was a little bit less, but something like that. And I remember that just one, two days before it happened, a lot of uh, traders uh, were buying ETFs on uh, crude oil, and they said there's no way that uh, crude oil could drop below uh, zero. There's no way. Well, there was a way and it happened. So that just confirms uh, what I'm saying, that there's no really real predictability um, when it comes to trading. You can't predict the future, period. However, uh, we still need to operate somehow in markets and we need to make money. So how do we make money we cannot, cannot really predict? Well, first of all, we can predict with at least certain uh, probability. So we, we cannot predict fully, but we can uh, we can really have some probabilities. And that's what we traders work with, with probabilities, not with prediction, but with probabilities. However, an even more important part is that uh, real robustness is not about predictability, but real robustness is about anything else, and it is adaptability. So we already know that we cannot predict the future, right? We just can't. It's impossible. Well, we don't have magic ball. But what we can do, we can adapt. We can be constantly adapting to changing environments because that's the only certainty you'll always have in markets, that markets are in constant flux. They're constantly changing. So we do, uh, we can and we do adapt. And and uh, that's the only thing we can do. And as, as we go and as, as markets develops, we keep adapting. And that, that makes uh, the element of survival. That's how we survive and hopefully thrive with a good mixture of uh, probabilities, statistical probabilities, and ability to adapt. Uh, we can uh, hopefully thrive in markets. Now, how this is links to robustness? Well, it's very easy. Robustness is nothing more and nothing less than the ability to adapt. Robustness equals ability to adapt. The level of uh, speed and quality of adaptability, that's robustness. How fast, how well, uh, how universally you can adapt. So when we think about robustness testing procedures, we really think about procedures that will help us how adaptable uh, are our uh, strategies to different market conditions or even different markets or time frames or, or whatever. In general, we want to be as adaptive across different uh, pointers and metrics as possible. So that's robustness. The, that is robustness. Robustness is the ability to adapt. And the quality of robustness, the testing, uh, is determined by the quality, speed of uh, adaptability. So the better the adaptability, the higher uh, the robustness um, of the particle strategy. OK, I hope this helped. I hope this explained. Now, excuse me, I'm going to have this wonderful Spanish churro. And see you uh, next Tuesday on Coffee with Thomas.